All right. Hey, Jake. Hey, Trinity. Glad you guys are here. We'll get caught with you in just a moment. Just getting kind of everything kind of kicking and going. And, uh, ah, Jody, no way. Hey, I made a sign. I just didn't put it out for this first one. So martial arts class starts soon. Just take a moment. We'll start in just one minute. All right. Well, you know what? Looks like I have Miss Hall here for our leadership member. And uh, I got Mr. Jake here for class right now. So, Jake, we're just going to start class, you and I, bud. So make sure you're loose and ready to go. And uh, got some neat stuff planned for us today, handsome man. All right, let's get started. I'm walking out. Let's do this. Hey, Jake, how are you, bud? All right, here we go. And Miss Hall to my left. Good to see you too, ma'am. Funny joke. If you come together and bow. Hands in front. June B, Jake. And recite your student creed. I must develop myself in a positive manner, and avoid anything that will reduce my mental growth or my physical health. I must develop self-discipline in order to bring out the best in myself and others. I must use what I learn in class constructively and defensively to help myself and my fellow man, and to never be abusive or offensive. If you come together, sir, and bow. Jake, have a seat all the way down. Hands top of your knees. Good breathing time. Big deep breath in. And breathe out. Again, breathe in. And breathe out. Come up to your toes. Balance on your toes. Again, big deep breath in. And breathe out. One more time, breathe in. One more time, breathe out. And come up. Hands on your knees. And good knee rolls for me, Jake. Other direction. Hands on your hips. Step out. Good hip rolls. Ugh. And other direction. And if you come together, sir. Hands in front. Side to side shakes now. Up and down. Circles forward. And circles back. And cross your arms. Full body. Palms together now. Big deep breath in. And breathe out. Tops of your hands, big deep breath in, and breathe out. Grab your elbow, bring it over top, good stretch back, and switch arms, good stretch back. Reach back behind you, and stretch down to your toes, hang down there, and come back and pull. One, two, three, and four. Reach down to your toes, toe touch, good stretch down, and come back and pull. One, two, three, and four. Four, and hands your hips, step back, Jake. And bending that front knee, Hana, Joel, Set, Net, Dase, Yusit, Elgu, Yuda, Aho, and Yo. And switch feet. And Hana, Joel, Set, Net, bend that knee, Dase, Yusit, Elgu, Yuda, Aho and yo. And feet come together. 20 jumping jacks. Ready? Go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, and twenty. All right. Here we go. Have a seat, please. Heels and toes together. Make that stretch happen. Big deep breath in and out. Stretch down. Press down on your knees. Excellent. And right leg out, left leg in. Again, reach down. And switch. Again, reach down. The center, heels and toes together. Now take it out as wide as you can, full split, full full as you can get it. And hands forward. And down to the right. Down to the left. Put your hands behind you. Push your body forward just a little bit more. 
Really get that stretch out and stretch forward. And grab your legs, bring them in, shake them out. 30 crunches, ready? On your backs, legs up in the air, elbows to your knees, ready? And up, one, two, with me, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Stay with me, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, and 30. Up and over. Push-up time, guys. Ready? Here we go. Now, quick, quick push-ups. We're going to go down and up. Just rip right through them. We got 10. Hard and quick. Ready? And get your body set. And down. That's one. Down. That's two. Come on, get it going. Down. That's three. Down. That's four. Down. That's five. Down. That's six. Down makes seven. Down makes eight. Down makes nine. Make the last one count. Down makes ten. How'd you do? Okay, stand up. You come together, sir. And bow. Okay, turn around real quick. Make sure you fix yourself. Adjust your body. Make sure you look the part. When you're ready, face back front and have a seat, please. Okay, Darren's watching now. All right, here we go. And if you come together, sir, and bow. Well, uh, so today's plan, very simple. We're going to spend time again going through your fire form and adding in that next section all the way under our drop-down punch, same as we did on Tuesday. After that, we're going to go back again over your choke defense number eight. And I have a very special guest to introduce you guys to. Uh, he'll be showing a little more, up a little more often uh, in your class. So I'm very excited to share him with you uh, introduce you to our new friend. So it'll be a lot of fun. So here we go. We come together, sir. And bow. Let's go through fire form up to our certain point. Now remember, we start with that fire form and that hidden punch. I'm going to give my backside first. We're going to go up to what we learned last week. And then add that little bit in for this week. So, hands are set back straight. And bow. Preserve fire form. Step out left foot. Say martial arts. America. Fire form. Good. Now, left hand. Top hand. Chops front. Step right. Outside crescent. Kick left into the hand. Turn. Chop right. Outside crescent. Kick right. Together. Number two, bow. Represent knife hand up. Drop back into your guard stance, that modified guard with that knife hand forward. Ready? And two is kick, jungle, down block, punch, kimai, line up. Okay? Now, starting that flying front kick from last week. Back knee picks up, front knee kicks. Ready? And flying front. Knee, foot, step up for the right side. Body facing to my left now. Smashing elbow. Slide together. So that's everything we did up through last week. Here's what we added this week. Stay with me. We'll do it two times, then go back to the form top to bottom again. Ready? So from here, with our front leg, feet are together, body ready, we've got a double round kick. Round kick low to the knee, then round kick as high as you can, maintaining proper technique. So double round kick, kick low, kick high. One, two. Two. From there, we step out. We're not quite in the full kimai. We're just kind of relax and chill. Slide up, side kick. Back foot slides up. Side kick right. Back fist with a new right hand, new front hand. Drop down, punch left. Aya. Right knees up, left hand punches. Okay, let's do that a couple more times. I'm going to change my angle a little bit, so I just slid up. Make sure you have plenty of room for yourself. Double round kick. One, two. Slide up, side kick, back fist, drop down punch. Ayah. Okay, one more time again, different angle. Starting here, two rounds, one, two. Slide up, side kick, back fist, drop down punch. Ayah. 
So we've added into your fire form, double round kick, low, high. Slide up side, back fist right, drop down punch left from the back hand. Let's put it all together and add it all into one flow. Ready? We come together, sir. And bow. Stay with me now. Step up with your left foot. Martial arts. America. Fire. Form. And chop. Step. Sweep. Turn. Chop. Sweep. Together. Two. Bow. Represent knife hand forward. Yeah. Front kick. Jungle down block. Punch. Key my lineup. Pull the right leg. Take the left leg. Flying front. Smashing elbow and slide up. I ran out of room. I got to back up some more. Ready? Double round kick. One, two. Slide up side. Back fist. Drop down punch. Yeah. Okay. How's that? One more time. Ready? We come together, sir. And bow. Present for fire form. Ready? Go. Martial arts, America, fire, form. Oh, just kidding. Ha. Mr. Hamill. Let's try this. I'll tell you what. I'm going to do it at the actual form speed this time. So are you ready for a challenge? Bring it on, sir. Right. That's the idea. Go through the whole form at speed. Do your best to try to keep up with me of what we've done so far. Ready? We'll start fresh. And go. Martial arts, America, fire, form. One. Ah. Ah. Two. Bow. Knife hand. Kick. Down. Punch. Key my line up. Three. Flying front. Smashing elbow slide together. Making room. And four. Low, high. Slide up. Side. Back and drop. Ayah. You come together, sir. And bow. How'd you do? Okay, have a seat, please. Lock it up, sir. Back straight, hands on your knees. It's time for me to introduce you all to my new friend. Now, you can't make fun of him. We're martial artists, right? So we're very respectful. But I had to figure out a way to uh, teach you guys your new choke defense. Because I explained it to you kind of a little bit on, on Tuesday, but I really want to give you a good visual. So let me introduce you to my new buddy. Right. Okay. Ladies and gentlemen, I'd like to introduce you all to uh, the uh, Master Choke Defense Practicer 5000. <laughs> He's good. He's good. He comes through with a head and a throat and a body. Most important, he comes complete with that doba, that jacket, so we can really get that choke. You say hi, Mr. Master. Uh, Choke Defense 5000, right. So here's the deal. I'm being choked for choke number eight, and he's going to choke me best he can. He's got short arms, so we'll do our best. The important thing I want you to see is I want you to see, again, how that jacket fits in. That right side of the lapel fits inside the left side of the lapel. So when I go to grab him, make sure I have my angle of my camera good. i got to double check my stuff, guys. Make sure I'm in a good page here with you. I'm sure we'll work. His name is Jeff. You know what? That's... So we're going to call this the, um, the Choke Defense Master 5000, also known as Jeff. Yep. Um, the Spanish model is Jefe. <laughs> That's funny, Trinity. You're funny. So from here, we've got right hand and left hand. Now, because the right lapel goes inside, my right hand's going to come up. It's just like I'm in regular class, choking a bunch of short guys. So right hand comes up high. I'm going to grab that lapel up high. Hey, Mr. Bruner's in his office, okay? And then come underneath with my left hand, high into that jacket as well. So you'll see I've got that nice cinch on the lapel. I'm going to bring both hands one over the other, and then I'm going to punch that top hand into the throat. See his throat? Ah! And he is getting choked, and he would tap out, but he's definitely unconscious now. That's kind of the hard part of being the, uh, the choke master 5000, also known as Jeff. So one more time, I'll give you a different angle. Watch this. This is funny. Different angle. 
And then, so you see again how the lapel falls. Right hand goes high. Left hand comes in. Cinch it all together. And then you punch it hard oh, right into the throat. And he's, he's freaking out. He's tapping. It hurts. That's the idea. You're losing your head, Jeff. Excellent. Final time. Just so you see it at home. Okay. And again, I want to stress to you with your right side, the right hand's in a grab. The left hand comes up underneath. So at home, moms and dads, make sure when you're working with your junior that you get that right hand in high and then that left hand under high. Cinch it all together. Pull the bottom out and punch the top. So one more time. Grab the right side high. Grab the left side lower. Cinch it all together. And then it punches over top into the throat. This is the look at the time. Pulling down here and punching here. This is my look. I'd like you guys to practice that at home several times. Make sure while you're working that at home that you are, uh, well, you can either make your own uh, Choke Master 5000 uh, or Jeff, or, you know, you can just use your dad, Jake. It works the same, okay? All right. Is he out of the camera now? I gave him out of the shot. Let's see where we're at. Do you guys understand that? I hope that makes sense. I, uh, does Jeff owe you money? Yes, he does. Um, he also volunteered, right? You have to be crazy to volunteer to get choked like that, huh, Miss Hall? Right. That's the idea. So, um, okay, I've got one more detail for you guys to talk about. It's a couple things. We've gone over your, your fire form again from Tuesday, and I tried to give you a different visual for your choke defense. If you need a better perspective on that, um, follow the link at the bottom of this video to our YouTube channel. Subscribe to the channel and take a look at that teaching video for choke number eight uh, in, the, in that playlist that I tagged at the bottom here. That will give you um, just a whole plethora of stuff to work with, uh, and you can see a couple different perspectives. I think Mr. Stewart and I are actually doing that one together, so uh, you get a fun choke out opportunity there. Let's talk about a couple things real quick. First of all, this week, your class, um, your class challenge has been the water bottle challenge, right? So the, the, the idea is you take a blank, empty water bottle, not, not water in it. You'll hurt your toes, Jake, okay? An empty water bottle. I'm going to encourage you to do one of your, your kicks. Miss Hall, I saw your video of your wheel kick and that's pretty impressive. However, I think you can do better. I think a tornado kick, and I think if you really wanted to push it, I think a pop 540 would be a cool, even better kick to try that on. Um, so send me that also. I also appreciate the hashtag iHeartMAA. That's pretty great too. But Jake again, Trinity again, Mr. Sutton again, for your water ball challenge this week, you're doing your specific kick. That can be an outside crescent, a flying front kick, any of your kicks from your cycle. For today, again, I'm going to go over the outside crescent kick. It seems like the easiest one to work with. So the ball goes up in the air. You can have your dad throw it at you, or you can throw it up yourself. Time that kick and knock it out of the way. Now, if I hit this water bottle, you've got to you've got to say comment. Way to go, Mr. Hamill. Great job on your kick. Wow, you're getting real flexible, man. You must be stretching every day now. I am. Thanks a lot, you guys. So from here, body ready stance. Throw the bottle up, and I drive it out of the way. Hey That's the idea. Jake, send me a video of you doing this. Better yet, send me a video of your dad doing it. <laughs> That'll be a lot of fun. Um, yeah, this challenge is great. It's a lot more difficult than you think. And if you get one kick down and it's just that easy, try the other one. Try all the kicks. You know, see what you can do with a flying front kick. How about a spin kick? How about a, a jump back leg round? Try to add even more kicks to it, to the water bottle challenge, and just see what you can do. It'll get you outside. And guys, it's such a pretty day outside today. So get out there and have some fun with that. Last thing for me to you, okay? I sent out an email again today, and, I'll, and I posted again earlier on Facebook about this also today, your Champions Challenge check-in. What you have here, this is your actual student card. You'll do it home now. I'm still keeping up with it here, so still comment at the bottom of the video what's happening, you know, that you're in class today. But also take a look at this challenge. Next week, we're starting balance week, and then kick week, and then speed week. We've got all kinds of weeks coming up soon with our champion challenge week. The point system, there's quite a bit of stuff to talk about. I'm not going to tell you all about it now. I want you all to tune in tomorrow at 11 a.m. I'm going to go live uh, with you guys tomorrow from my office, just kind of sharing all the neat stuff with you guys and what you can expect. And um, It's going to be a neat competition. I'm very excited about it, and uh, I think it's going to be real great for you guys. So tune in tomorrow at 11 o'clock to talk about this again. In the meantime... Download this off of the email, um, and if you're not getting if you're not getting my emails, send me an email. My email is m a a pace at gmail.com. I'll say it again, m 
P-A-A, as in Montreal, it's America, pace at gmail.com. Send me an email, say, hey, add me to your email list so I can do that, get this to you guys, because this starts tomorrow. We, still, we go live with this tomorrow at 11 o'clock for you guys. I'm very excited to do that, and uh, we'll see you tomorrow at 11 for that. So one more time on the recap, fire form, choke number eight. Let's do our fire form one more time, and then we'll wrap for the day. Stand up, we come together, sir. That new added portion, and bow. Big deep breath in, and breathe out. <sighs> Present for fire form. Step out, martial arts. America, fire, form, one, chop, step, outside sweep, turn, chop, outside sweep, together. And two is bow, represent, knife hand forward, modified guard, and we kick, down block, punch, key my lineup. Three is a flying front kick, step up, smashing elbow, slide together, okay? Last part is our new part for this week. Low round, high round, bang, bang. Slide up, side kick. Back fist, drop down punch, yeah. Okay, and if you come together, sir. And bow. Jay, thanks for tuning in. Thank you everyone else for tuning in also. Miss Hall, thanks for uh, the cool nickname. So we're gonna see Jeff more often, I think, during our choke defense practice time. <laughs> I might have to punch in some too, we'll see. Um, Again, please comment at the bottom that you're in class today. Let me know that you're here. Send me an email if you need one, maapage at gmail.com. Let's wrap class. Ready? Thumbs ready? And repeat after me. I'm awesome. I'm unstoppable. Nothing's impossible. Focus your eyes. Focus your mind. Focus your body. Go. Martial arts, America, junior adult, team. We come together, sir. When you bow, you say... I did my best. I know you did. Guys, thanks so much. Do your water bottle challenge. I want to see your videos. Have a great time, and uh, we'll catch you next week for more.